you can see it's, it's obviously in the city, so it's urban. However, you've got a, a line of vegetation that runs directly through it, and that's obviously the buffer zone because you know it's, it's unkept. But from the air, you can see the, the Venetian wall that encompasses the city. You can also see the bastion points. And, and more importantly, you can make out um, this, the center area of operation. It's, it's pretty much a horizontal line that goes straight through with the trees either side. The buildings fall into pieces. Most of them are held up um, with supports. Patrolling from above, this is one of the UN's longest running missions. On top, you see everything, so it broadens your view uh, on your, for your operations. To get up in a helicopter and get that bird's eye view, it just gives a, a different perspective uh, of, the, of the area of operations. Since the conflict in 1974, it's the job of UN soldiers to keep the peace between Greek Cypriots in the south and Turkish Cypriots in the north. The sort of things we're looking out for is civil intrusion in the buffer zone. We're also looking for construction issues, and uh, which is more pertinent to this time of year during summer, um, fires, which we get a lot of. Um, so, sort of, you know, smoke, smoldering uh, fields. All it takes is someone to flick a, a cigarette out the car window uh, and we could have a catastrophe on the lands. How exciting is it to see uh, something so unique from the air? For me, it's, uh, it's quite interesting to look at it from the air uh, because it's broadened uh, your view and your knowledge in seeing our daily operation uh, every day. Uh, and compared to your daily tasking, you just see whatever is available on, on the ground. But from on top, you see everything. What did you spot today? Did you spot any issues or did it all look normal? Uh, it's just a normal day for us, uh, as I can see, uh, especially in both east and west, it's just uh, open field. Uh, I'm trying to identify some fire agent, but not really, there's nothing happened on the ground. The battle group is preparing to leave this place. And over the last few months, COVID has made a big difference to this tour. Uh, this tour has been, has been an adventure for all of our soldiers uh, and it's one that's really developed us and we've made a real difference to peacekeeping on our island. They've conducted just over 2,000 patrols and that's over 8,000 hours of patrolling uh, across this tour. I think what we saw during the coronavirus lockdown in Cyprus was actually more people trying to use the buffer zone because they were unable to, to cycle, to run or to walk. Uh, out, out and about in the Republic of Cyprus because of the lockdown procedures and, the, and they saw this area of the buffer zone as perhaps somewhere that they might be able to go for a run in a park. So, so that might be quite surprising. But they're not finished yet. This is one of the last patrols before they hand over to One Rifles. In nearly 40 degree heat, this is the eastern part of Sector 2 that the Brits are responsible for. Farmers who have special permits are allowed to enter the buffer zone to farm it, but it's tightly controlled. They're always on the lookout for intruders. It's normally very quiet, but Private Dyson suddenly spots a vehicle and we go to investigate. Yeah, I'm just going to go over there. There's a vehicle spotted uh, on the buffer zone. Could be UN. Uh, it's hard to tell from where we are. Uh, but I'm just going to go over and investigate. It might drive off by the time we get there, but. Uh, we we'll just go over and uh, just see what they're up to. If it's not a UN vehicle, what what happens? Uh, standard procedures, we'll go over a post vehicle, um, ask them if they've got a permit. Um, if they have got a permit, we'll just check it, make sure they're on the area that they're supposed to be. Um, if they haven't got a permit, um, we'll just radio it up, um, get a quick description of the vehicle, of the person, annotate that on the patrol report, um, and then we'll just wait out for a bit of information uh, from two as to what to do. You might want us to wait till Umpol gets here and we'll just wait with the, with the vehicle. The police? Uh, yeah, yeah, Umpol, sorry, yeah, you and police. The man says he works for the farmer in charge of the area, but he doesn't have a permit. Now they have to wait for his story to be checked out. 
Nee, nee, de UN is hier, de UN. Ja, ik zie uh, voor Mr. John. Ja. Hallo, twee, dit is 2, 3, Charlie, message over. 2, 3, Charlie, uh, we're just patrolling uh, the, the farmer's plots near OP84 and we've come across uh, one times mail um, working with Farmer John. Farmer John's not present and he doesn't have a permit. Roger, so far over. So I've just wrote it down uh, on our patrol port that we've come across this fair call. Probably take a picture and just add a picture in. Um, obviously, he's not got a permit, so we're just waiting to see if um, Farmer John comes and, and plays it off for us. After a bit of a wait to check out his story, it's confirmed the man is officially working for the farmer who has a permit to be here. He's free to continue his day and start his shift. These soldiers will soon hand over the baton to their replacements, who will see this place with fresh eyes and focus on maintaining the peace, leaving the politicians to work on the big questions and the future of this place. Sean Gresjak, Forces News in the UN buffer zone, Cyprus. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.